All right, so I got something to talk about. Something that people talk about, don't talk about actually at all. What is self-sabotage? Why does it exist? Why do people fucking uh, shut down? Why do they self-sabotage themselves in relationships? Why do they never let themselves outside? Why do they never go out? Why do they never talk to anybody? Why do they shut down? Uh, a lot of it comes from history because maybe when you were young, you were bullied by other people. So being yourself was just not good enough. I mean, you were yourself and then people just fucking hated on you. People fucking uh, pushed you around, threw your shit around in the school, for example, uh, kick you down in the lockers and while the teachers aren't looking around. Um, Maybe when you come home, you just hate yourself because families are fighting, parents are fighting, there isn't a parent, there's somebody missing when there shouldn't be there. Um, and it's just like you being you is just not good enough uh, because you being you hurts you. So that means you have to be somebody else, not yourself. And it's like, what, what does that mean? Does that mean I have to be extraordinary? I have to be super. That's where my obsession, for example, came with uh, superheroes, with film, watching movies, have these stories of somebody coming from nothing, becoming something special, and then gaining recognition instead of being just somebody random. Especially in these movies, they'll have somebody being bullied. It's very relatable, extremely relatable for that kind of people, including myself. I'm part of those. I assume there's more than just me. Um, and we're these silent, um, silent community of people in pain. And then, you know, it becomes all about perfecting something, about being amazing, extraordinary or something. Until you nail that extraordinary to where you, th where we think, I think, I am good enough <clears throat> that, you know, there's a chance, there's a real chance that, you know, that everyone deserves. Everyone deserves a certain chance to be accepted around other people, to be accepted as they are, to be treated like equal, to be treated as another person of equal value, equal traits, everything, uh, and unique. <clears throat> at what point are you good enough at something extraordinarily enough that it outweighs the extraordinary how bad you are or how bad things are around you that you have to be tipping the scale to an extreme of good in order to compensate for the extreme lack of good that has been reflected on you. And that is the battle against depression in a nutshell. And it's a very hard to be extraordinary, right? It's very difficult. <clears throat> it takes a lot of work and effort and it takes a lot of putting yourself out <clears throat> using your own energy from inside inspiration and looking for things taking work and taking a long time to make one thing happen which normally should be a daily thing like living your daily life should be a normal thing but it's no longer that now living a daily life only happens once a week or once a month because that one time you finally were ready enough to make the day count and you prepared you you've got everything prepared for that day you know nothing's gonna go wrong or whatever <clears throat> so that's that's what life turns into because you want people to care equally to you or more than equally and then the thing is that then people care equally to you or more than equally and then it's not enough why isn't it enough you you, you just start to feel invisible like you have to prove that you exist to other people almost it's crazy and I'm using you figuratively and whatever bullshit. Just, just bear with my fucking word, right? So that's just something that's been on my mind. Like it's not, there's no real solution there except for just getting extremely lucky all of a sudden, you know? So it's like all this bad luck. Now all of a sudden you have to be lucky to find your way out of this ditch. So it's like the bad luck makes you have to get extremely good luck to to like level it's terrible
it's extreme, right? And that's where obsession becomes around extreme, right? <clears throat> obsession with maybe stories with superheroes that are extremely good or, and villains that are extremely evil or bad and terror. And then people come and become obsessed with, you know, maybe horror films with extreme horror and extreme violence, uh, video games, right? Extreme, uh, you know, either you win or you don't, either you kill or you don't get killed. You know, you get killed, either you kill or get killed. You know, it's extremes. <clears throat> And um, I don't know, those things kind of kind of were relatable, were related to what was going on with me. So I had obsession and still do with these kind of things uh, because they're clear cut and they're extreme. And that's the kind of world I've been living in is an extreme world. Uh, and I'm kind of, I have to, that's, that's just, it's not, fair or unfair it's just unlucky or lucky and then you know and then you know and then after all that after bearing all this bullshit then you have to do good in the world to this world that wasn't maybe so good to you you have to do good in order to prove that you're worth everyone's time and worth everyone's attention and then once you get that attention then you know then you're okay right you're fine then all you can kind of create new memories of having value of having equality with these other people that may have treated you differently before right it's like oh i show them now see i'm worth something you shouldn't be treating me like this right you shouldn't have treated me this way it wasn't fair so <clears throat> that um that's what's been making me feel invisible sometimes is that i'm doing like different projects I'm doing different things that I enjoy, that I experience, that, um, and then I make some friends through it and I have a great time and it's uh, making me satisfied with my life in some way. But it's not making me feel as though I am, I matter to something other than myself, right? I matter to other people. I matter to somebody special or something like that. That's what I really want. Um, and I guess it's hard to view being mattering to people in a negative way as as mattering. <laughs> um, so it's almost like then it's like, well, if it's so easy for me to matter in a bad way to people, and it's the only way that I know, and apparently I'm capable of mattering to people, then I guess I'll just matter to people in an evil way and find a way to make that make me happy. Because I clearly can't make myself matter to people in a positive way. And that's kind of where the spiral starts happening for people to go down these dark paths of um, self-harm, harming others, uh, taking advantage of people, bullying, raping, etc. I mean, it just goes, the list goes on. There's all kinds of flavors of, of uh, showing, showing people that, that uh, you exist and... I wish it, there was a more even ground for making yourself visible without the world forcing us to have to be extraordinary to be normal or to be noticed, you know, because normal life is surrounded around extraordinary people right now. Everybody's watching extraordinary people online, but you can't be extraordinary unless you you literally dedicate your life to it, right? Uh, and it's very hard to be extraordinary. It's very hard to be the people that everyone watches on YouTube, the songs that everyone watches for millions of views. It's very difficult to get there. Uh, but that's what you're watching all the time. That's what your example of life is. The example of life is this. And unfortunately, the example is always going to be whatever is the best version of whatever you're watching at this point, whatever you're seeing in the world. And that's um, beautiful, but it's also saddening because it makes um, makes us 
makes a kind of gap between not only the poor and the rich being a gap, but it's like a similar gap in a different sense, a gap between success and mediocrity. And the mediocrity and success is becoming so farther and farther and farther spread from each other that uh, it's becoming more and more difficult to move from mediocrity to success. Um, and it's harder for success to help mediocrity disappear because success has to be so prominent that it's very far from mediocrity. Um, it's a real trap. How do we escape that trap is, uh, is the real question, I think, that I ask myself um, in the modern day. So those are just my thoughts, something I've been thinking about. If you have similar thoughts, please post in the comments so I don't feel alone about in this. <laughs> if you don't, then why are you watching this video? Go watch a different video that's relating to you more. I mean, and if you're not watching this video, I hope you're watching something that makes you happy, that means something to you, that will help you move forward and out of some of these dark places that I've experienced and dark places that I've had to fight through myself through. Because it's, um, it's a real long road to get out of it. The one thing about it though is the dark sides, the sad, parts of life are, are honestly the real parts of life and they define and they are the roots and seeds for more, more like seeds for everything beautiful, like a lot of music that's being written that is very emotional and very powerful, it comes from experiences that are very dramatic, very extraordinary, so. Maybe that extraordinary sadness and loneliness and maybe depression can be a fuel for something extraordinarily powerful. So it just takes forever to happen and it takes a shit ton of extra work. Not only do you have to suffer the, the feelings you have, but you also have to use that suffering and reflect it and grow it into something else. And that's a whole garden. And once you have that garden and you're ready, then um, then it might just mean something. And um, that's like the full, that's like seeing the full picture. But you only get to see the entire full picture of your life when you're dead, when you're about to die. You're like, oh, there's, it's about to reveal and my timeline as soon as it ends, it's the full picture, but you don't get to live after your timeline ends, so. That's the real, the real hat trick, isn't it? Gets everybody. Peace.